I'd like to talk to you about the flattening tool. I used to offer two tools that did pretty much the same job. The comb tool, which was for measuring flatness uh, and flattening the comb, and the uh, straightening the, um, uh, the reed plate bar from the F tool. And I've combined the tools into one. So the flattening tool now works on combs as well as reed plates. I have a little groove here into which the reed can fit. So you can measure the flatness of a reed plate and that'll follow. So, so this is how you flatten uh, a comb. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure the flatness. You can see that the flattening tool is fairly thick uh, on either side. That's so that it's easy to hold on to the comb so that you can get a good reading. What we're going to do is look at the flatness here. We're going to look at the flatness at the tips of the tines and we're going to look at the flatness in between each tine. So this is a light that's pretty much at eye level for me. Uh, it's just a regular plain old fluorescent light. So I'm going to put the comb onto the flatness tool and I'm looking for little cracks of light where the comb tool, where the, where the flattening tool and the comb come together. And I'm tilting back and forth. I'm applying pressure on one side, I'm applying pressure on the other. Uh, I'm turning the comb around and I'm looking for the same sort of thing at the tips of the tines and this one seems to be pretty flat then I'm going to look through each tine all the way down the harp so this side is flat I've checked this out before this side is not flat so we're going to take a look at what that looks like so here you can see as I orient the light we can see that the comb is cup shaped there's a there's a there's a big space right in the middle and at the s either side it's it's fine it's in contact so what we're going to need to do is bring down the sides so that this is flat let's take a look at what it what the tips look like so you can see that same pattern there's contact on the left and the right side but right in the middle you see it doesn't touch the comb and that's what we're looking for and just for fun, let's look at the middle of the, the tine. And sure enough, there's some light there too. This is an awful comb. Uh, well, I mean, it, it's not. It's going to be great once we flatten it. So we have to flatten the surface. I'm going to go back down to my sandpaper and show you how I do that. So this is U-shaped, right? We looked at it and there was... So we're going to put that side down and we're going to uh, sand more from this side and this side and less from the middle. And the way we're going to do that is by taking the flattening tool and applying some pressure in that area. And then move it a little bit further. Okay. Do the same thing with this side. Now depending how bad it is and what kind of material you're working with, you'll get a feel for how much to do. Now I'm just sort of averaging everything out. I'm putting the uh, flattening tool over the whole surface of the comb, pushing down and going in, in circles one direction the other direction. As I press down I make sure my fingers don't touch the sandpaper but they are just uh, uh, allowing the, the, the flattening tool to distribute the weight of the comb. This is 220 grit sandpaper. So now let's assess. So here's that surface that we just did and the back See, I'm applying pressure on one end and then applying pressure on the other. That's fine. I don't see any cracks of light. You get you get sort of a, 
sensory feedback when you stick the comb on you can tell that it doesn't slide very easily you can tell that there's good contact and see here all along the, the sides uh, everything is nice now we're just going to take a shortcut we'll just do a couple of a couple of times and in in solving in solving one flatness problem we have solved the other so by flat sanding this way we have we have taken down actually both sides of the reed plates uh, uh, but the front and back so we've solved that problem uh, and that's just by distributing the weight uh, and by carefully uh, applying selectively applying the weight so that's how you use the flatness tool to flatten a comb.